Okay, the last type of detector I'm going to do a piece on is a slide fence. Uh, the reason we have slide fences, this one here is between tunnel 14 and tunnel 15. Tunnel 14, tunnel 15. See this, all this loose rock up here, this steep face right next to the tracks. Uh, if these rocks come down, which they do with uh, alarming regularity, will come down, they'll hit this fence. And uh, right here we have a uh, U5 circuit controller, which you might remember from the hand throw switch segment I did. But in this instance, they're using it. They have those cables right there tied into it. They are hooked to the arm that the switch would normally throw. And if uh, a rock should hit that fence, it would pull on that cable, rotate that arm, open those contacts, and coming out of that U5 box are two wires. They go up the top of that post right there, and then they go along the top of the fence here. See the two wires up there with the insulators on them. And they go down to that house where the signal is, that control cabin there. And uh, the circuitry for this is inside that. Now down, I'm going to walk all the way down there, but you can see that silver box mounted on the fence. It works a little differently than the U5 box. Uh, it has just a set of uh, upright contacts in that. And it also has uh, two pieces of cable going into it for each side of the fence. And should the rock hit that, it does the same thing. It just has a lever that it pulls that opens those uh, contacts. And that causes the signals coming in here to be red. Uh, we don't want trains hitting big boulders and tearing up stuff on the train, even possibly derailing a train. You'd be amazed at the things that, that can derail a train. But the biggest thing is damage. You get a boulder get under there and who knows what kind of damage you could do to a locomotive or to uh, air system for the brakes, whatever. But we don't want uh, trains hitting rocks and that is why we have slide fences. We have another one down between uh, Cliff and Rowan, between Tunnel 7 and Tunnel 8, uh, which you saw the, I posted the uh, train going through there uh, a while back. I'll link that in this video. But that one works differently. It actually has uh, a series of wooden posts rather than steel posts and it starts out with one leg of a DC circuit hooked up to the bottom wire on that fence or about 10 or 12 wires stranded up like that and they're hooked together at each end with a piece of wire so you have one continuous leg of a DC circuit going through that entire fence and if a rock were to come down up there and break one of those wires, it would open the circuit. It doesn't use uh, control boxes of any kind. It's just a straight leg of a circuit. Anyway, that is how a slide fence works and why it's there.